Kutaro emerged victorious from the belly of Snake, whose attempts to blight the Moonwood had ended in a nasty case of indigestion. Our hero was ready for more Moonstone Shards, and Act 3 seems as good a place to find them as any. With the Snake's third piece of the Moonstone in hand, Kutaro schlepped himself onward to the shores of a vast ocean, the Moonshine Sea. It was a dreadful realm full of pirates and monsters, and frothing up its waters at the moment was a roiling rivalry between Captain Gaff, Pirate Master of the Jolly Lamum, and Generals Pig and Sheep, who were vying for the Captain's riches in the name of their King. Yo ho! Another fine haul, me old salt! Aye! The moonshine see the hours now! We'll not be cowed by pirate nor monster! Ah, ah. It's all thanks to the Moon Bear King's sparkly prize, yo ho! Check it out, Kato! Those are moonstone pieces! By the by, me happy hearty, have you seen the wanted posters? For that blaggard Totoro. Hey, Pikachu, look at the reward. If we catch this swab, we'll be swimming in swag. <laughs> Way anchor, smartly now. A vast pig. There's not a cent to be had if we can't find him. Think of the time we might waste. And the electric bell. <laughs> You'd be right again. We'll need one smash in scheme to catch him. <laughs> Keep it down. Arr! How dare you pour one without me, a scurvy bacon bit? First pig, first serve. Quick, Katara. Now's our chance. <laughs> Slowly, stealthily, he stole his way closer. The two generals were three sheets to the wind, but Kutaro could not risk waking them. The moonstone shards were just a few inches from his fingers when... Oh, boy! It's a trap! <laughs> that scallywag Kutaro fell for it! Yo ho ho! The Moonbird King will heap riches on us now! <laughs> Our hero had fallen, quite literally, for a ruthless ruse, and now he found himself wriggling around in the darkness. From the briny smell and lurching floor, he knew he must be trapped inside a ship. Release me, ya hornswogglers! Did you hear that? I better use my light and have a look around. Release me, ya hornswogglers! Not the larcenous barnacles I was expecting. Well, <laughs> hoist high those chins, for ye have just liberated Captain Gaff himself. <laughs> Kutaro spied a hook, that of the dread moon pirate, one of the goddess's four champions. What need of ye of that old relic? The lap dog whose arm it augmented was a disgrace of a pirate. A sorceress trick of the Moon Bear King. Only Calibrus can cut through, lass. Scissor me timbers! The real Calibrus! <laughs> <laughs> well, look who's obtained the pirate's powers. Let's use them to commandeer this ship. Luna Dribble Switch! There. See the golden hook on the left of the helm? Use your hook claw to grab it! 
Once you've snagged your target, in your two hard! Two hard! Lady, you are beautiful. Hello? Oh, Wolves, are they having a moment? Oh, Katara, please do something. This thing is way too soppy for me to move. I, I can't break him up. Oh, I think I just saw some tongue. Oh, I'm blind. I'll teach you to spoil the mood. Luna Kazoo! This thing is way too soppy for me to move. <laughs> well, as you can see, you can move anything that's got a hook. Try snagging this wrench. A good yank will dizzy your foes long enough to finish the job. Buzz off, butterfly! Would you get out of my hair? That's it! Luna Kazoo! No excuses! Avast! Milady, I must have your name! They call me the Moon Witch and Esma Pops. Esma Pots, ah! A treasure truly worth burying myself in! <laughs> But first, I must steal back me ship! Yeah. Look at all these coins! Is this the treasure vault? In the next room, they found another mountain, no, ocean of gold. But to Kutaro, these riches were just another obstacle to surmount. The question was, how far could he get with a puppet's body, a few hand-me-down heads, magical scissors, a knight's shield, ninja bombs, and a pirate hook? Hmm. Farther than most. Good. I 
I was worried we'd have to do the same scene twice or something. Ah, but that's the joy of theatre. A scene changes with every performance. You never see the same thing twice. Which is why you should stop by our ticket office on your way out and make every week magical theatre week. It was just the captain against the dastardly hawk. Mano R. Hammer. Randomly, a rogue shark ruptured the deck, causing poor Kutaro to tumble back down to the lower levels. You think the captain is okay? Below deck, more sea creatures were being held captive and subjected to unspeakable experimentation. Fought on the open seas, not your belly button, started out primitive. You know, ramming, possible boarding, pummeling with arrows and fire, that sort of thing. Then, boom! Along came the cannon, and sea rogues took up blasting each other from a distance. Whole rows of cannons, called batteries, were placed along the length of ships, as captains cooked up crafty ways to broadside their opponents. Smartly no mateys! Man the six-pounders! Fire! Fire! Sink those scurvy sea biscuits! <laughs> Crackle of gunshots and clangor of crossed swords issued from above deck. Our little hero raced through the ship's bizarre interior with all the result he could muster.
fire in you, powder wetting milkmaid! The last click as your chamber hits. <laughs> Fritter that away, limp loins! The ship rocked and seas churned as Gaff cornered the treacherous generals. Enough foreplay! Mayhap we should cut our losses, Pete! Raven curs! Our turn, Kataro! Wave after wave, the violent sea unloaded its fury upon the Jolly Lamb. Vast quantities of pepper along with the salt. Oh, it's true. Part salinity, part gizunta. No doubt more than one failed freebooter of the wound on a desert island has stopped his boots and dunked and dined on nature's condiments just to survive. It's a tragic story, really. One that should be told more often. <laughs> Alright, that's enough time. Let's see what we can do with Just how far would these Epicurean terrorists go in their hedonistic pursuit of right Big bucks and the mass murder of an ecosystem. Gad, 
There seemed to be no heights to which this mad melee would not climb. This is so getting out of hand. Oh well, we have to get those Moonstone Shards, so let's buckle up and buckle down. clambered up the creaky, clamorous mast as the wind batterfanged back. Hurry this! Ah, you rusts be rusty! <laughs> You first! Come on this, you foul beef eater! Hmm, I prefer fish! Have a kitten! Oh, thank you! What's this? Hocus Pocus Duck Duck Goose! More like Dove! Have enough games! Have at ye! There must be something. Anything. Oh, are you trying to fleece me? Uh, what am I doing? Here? No way. Knock it off. So long! Ah! Keep running, you cowardly cold cuts! Kutaro was far from solid footed, and even the slightest jolt would send him splattering down forthwith upon the mildewed planks below. Careful! Watch your step! <laughs> Favor, then jump. Kutaro had to get an angle on the situation as he leapt his way from platform to platform. Whoa! Oh, that gave me a heart attack. Whoa! Check out the bling on that mask. Wonder if it's real. Fake. You can't trick a lady like me. Egg! Uncag me! You're not having a barrel of laughs? <laughs> uh, puns aside, Captain Gaff had had a field day with sheep. Enough swords had been run through the keg to make a pincushion blush. How the heck is he not shish kebab by now? One more skewer and it's gotta be game over. Poor Pig wasn't having much better luck with his battle. Ha ha, 
lame. This be a powder keg. So long, suckers. <laughs> what? Where am I? Where be? Surrender? I can do this all day. You'll not live out the day. <laughs> what? We call for a little help. Ready? Aim! Ah! I didn't say fire! Get back here! Trouble had materialized on the horizon and was making Swiss cheese out of the Jolly Lemon sails. Holy hole! We could be next! At this rate, the sails would soon be more air than canvas. Hard to starboard! Rack the oars! Aye, steady as she goes! I, uh, wait a moment. Do you even know what starboard means? What? I just wanted to say it. The cannon sails were certainly taking the wind out of their balls. Uh, I mean, the winding balls were taking the sails out of their wind. Oh, whatever. Flying cinders meet flammable sail. Kutura was caught in a combustible death sandwich. Come on! Hurry! As the sails burned down, they sent hot air spiraling up, which added even more oomph to the fire. Kataro, you have to keep moving! Really, it was a sort of a race, except instead of a checkered flag, Kutaro was getting waved along by a toasty, char-spangled inferno. Whoa, look with the gong dragon. Okay, I'll pick. Bye now! Now, you scurvy chickens, be out of runway! Ready to feed the plankton? <laughs> no! Pig! Ah! Pig! Stay with me! <laughs> <laughs> you can't die without paying me back! At least take out some life insurance! Hoops off me treasure, ye dog! You can settle your accounts in the next world! Yo ho! So, we've a weaver on our hands. Kudro, me lad, I, I'll let you have the honor. You mean the hassle? As he faced the weaver pirate atop the Lamham's mast, Kudro could feel a wrathful animus pulsing through his new pirate hook. Its previous owner clearly had the score to set. Don't you roll your eye at me! Sign of independence, a declaration of skull duggery to the open seas. 
Only one there could have wheeled out the skull and crossbones and taken over the ship, and it wasn't Winnie the Watson's face. We'll show that tyrant. Today, he's gonna fly a white flag. was running the weaver ragged. Someone somewhere along the line had replaced our scared little boy with a fine young hero. Kutaro laid the weaver flag to rest, freeing the souls of countless children and wresting the Jolly Lamon from the clutches of the cruel Moonbear King. End of the line, you build sucking livestock! I'll see you to Davy Jones! But first, I'll have back me treasure along with me ship. Zoinks! We'll never give it back! Not even a piece of a piece of eight! Gold and silver be a heavy burden when you're sinking. <laughs> Captain Gaff's sword darted like lightning as he swashed pigs' buckles and fleeced sheep's phalalony. A burst! Me treasure! That's money, you raving doubloonatic! Uh, could we please avast forward to the part where you cough up your moonstone shards? Uh, never! We'd so to be shark bait! Ahoy! Moby! What the? Should it be timbers? Hey! That's cheating, you scurvy... whatever. Darn it! We can't let him get away. Captain, is your ship submersible? Well, of course, me beauty. When a lass wants to submerge, Captain Gaff and the Jolly Lamb Ham are happy to oblige. Really? Oh, you're the best! Shouldn't take more than, say, three days? Ugh, you are so not the best. We'll do this the hard way. Deep breath, kiddo. Oh, man overboard! Again? And so, with the footprint of urgency firmly impressed upon his behind, Kutaro was off to the foul abyss of Davy Jones's locker to bring pig, sheep, and their vessel, the Moby, to justice. <laughs>